No heat, no hot water. That's the situation facing people living at a new apartment complex in Northeast Austin. Residents told us that it's been three weeks since the building had to shut off its natural gas service. Kegsans Will Dupree joins us live in Northeast Austin with why a fix is taking so long. Will. Well, Robert and Cindy, it's important to note that the villages at Fiskville here is an apartment complex for people 55 and older. They are going to spend it yet another night without any heat or hot water. And fortunately, it's not too cold out here tonight. But after our digging today, it's unclear when those services will be restored. This is a first world nation. We should not have our elderly living without heat and hot water, the basics. William Staples, 81-year-old father, moved into his new apartment two weeks ago. At the time, they shrugged when they were told the complex had no working natural gas service. Being a new complex, you're like, well, that's, you know, that does happen sometimes. The company that owns the complex told us it had to shut off the gas three weeks ago because of a leak. However, it's still unknown how that happened or even where the source of it is. Today, the Texas Gas Service and its investigation revealed that the problem is not with one of its pipelines. A statement read, as a safety precaution, we disconnected natural gas service to the complex until the property owner is able to identify and fix the situation. In the meantime, residents have been given these space heaters. They can also use communal showers that are hooked up to an electric water heater. The company has also offered to pay for hotel rooms, but so far only one resident has done that. It's brand new. That's Staples' really father inside. is planning to stay wow. put. I just want my dad to have hot water and heat in his apartment. And the company that owns this complex back over here across the street says that the rent this month is free. It's also brought in a third party engineer to try to figure out what the problem is and how to fix it. Reporting live, Will Dupree, KXAN News. Really frustrating for them. Will, thank you. The company also told us that at least two people have asked to be released from their leases and those requests have been granted.